What do you think some keys to this are? If if the Browns are going to go in and, and it would be an upset without question if they go in there and beat the Packers, uh, what areas would you be concerned with as, as a Packers guy? Um, how, how could you see the Browns coming in and, and getting an upset win? I think the recipe for the Browns, and I will add that the Packers are now the only unbeaten team at home in the NFL this season. They're 6-0 and at Lambeau. They're, they're tough to beat there, so uh, I, I'm, I'm just telling it like it is there. But as far as how the Browns can win, I, I think get the turnovers. You're going to have to somehow force turnovers, fumbles. Rodgers doesn't throw many interceptions, so that's kind of wishful thinking. But if you can pop a, a fumble or two, uh, and certainly special teams. I know you said the Browns special teams have not been great either, but if you can exploit that weakness that the Packers have, if you can make the Packers one-dimensional, if you can close down the running game and make them go to the air, and you have enough coverage on Devontae Adams that Rodgers has to go somewhere else, Put pressure on him and then not allow him to get – you can tell. I'm listing a lot of things here are going to have to go right for the Browns to win. Uh, when you look at it, different season this year with um, the playoff picture because only one team gets a bye. So there is um, – as much as this is a must, must win game for the Browns, Packers are looking at getting that bye. So it's it kind of keeps everybody um, honest, if you will, playing right till that 17th game this season. Very much so. Packers are motivated. I, I will say this. Packers have been to the NFC Championship game in the last two years, and they've won 13 championships. So uh, they don't put division titles or wild card berths on the facade at Lambeau Field. Uh, like the Browns, they have a proud tradition. They want to win it all. And so Matt LaFleur has been to NFC Championship games before. What he has not done, and he's now in his third season, he's been remarkable as head coach, but he's not won a Super Bowl. And that is what is in front of the Packers this season, if they play well. Now, they had the number one seed and home field advantage last year, too. And Tom Brady came in on an unseasonably warm January day, and the Buccaneers beat the Packers in the NFC Championship game. So just being the number one seed guarantees nothing. But to your point, Packers are highly motivated to have that because they're hoping that they get a chilly day in January where a team has to come in. Speaking of which, um, is it still supposed to snow a little bit, be a little chilly Christmas Day uh, at Lambeau 4.30-ish when kickoff is? You know, it, it might, but I think the Browns are actually <laughs> going to be pretty fortunate. Uh, the weather here has been on the dry side as far as lack of snow, and while it's cold, it's not ridiculously cold. So I don't think the Browns – will use weather as an excuse on Saturday if they if they can't get it done. 